today let us learn graphical method solution of 2 cross n game in game theory two types of graphical method solutions we have to learn first is for 2 cross n game that is 2 rows and n columns that is if in a problem two rows and n columns are there we have to go for the graphical solution and if m rows and two rows that is m cross 2 game if this is the case we have to go for the graphical solution same way we are doing but only the final point is different okay so let me explain in today's class 2 cross n game here is a question for you consider the payoff matrix of player a as shown below and solve it optimally using graphical method that is this is a 2 cross game okay see this for player a two strategies okay that is two and cross n that is n columns are there column will be changing the number of columns will be changing okay so here the number of columns is five one two three four and five that is for player b five strategies are there and here n is five okay so n can be changed but for player a the strategies are always two this is what two cross n game we know for a matrix we say that is n cross m means n rows and m columns same way here 2 cross n that is 2 rows and n columns so this is a question for you so let us solve the question first you have to check whether the matrix is having saddle point or not we know how to do that right so for player a two strategies and for player b five strategies first you have to find the row minimum and from there you have to find the maximum value and then for column max you have to find and from there you have to find the minimum value you have to check whether max min is equal to mini max here both are different right so that means here is no saddle point okay this is all we have explained in the previous questions that is how to find saddle point of pure strategy game also we have seen and mixed strategy also we have seen so saddle point we know and how to find the value and probabilities of the game that also we know right so here the same way you have to follow and you have to find whether the matrix is having saddle point or not now coming to the graphical solution so first step one reduce the size of the payoff matrix by applying dominance property this also we know we have discussed in the last class how to find the value of the game using dominance property for pure strategy and mixed strategy game the so same way you have to apply row dominance column dominance and all so that is the first step reduce the size of the payoff matrix by applying dominance property here after applying dominance property you get the matrix like this now you are having this matrix here column 3 and column 5 we have ignored and you are having for player A two strategies and for player B three strategies that is one two and four okay now step two let x be the probability of selection of alternative one of player A and 1 minus x be the part of selection of alternative 2 by player A. Okay, that is for A, A player you are considering and for the first case, for the first strategy, the probability we are taking as x and we know for the next it will be 1 minus x, right? Because the sum of these two will be 1. 
probabilities will be some uh, will be always one that we know so for the first row we are taking the probability as x and so the na so naturally for the second row the probability will be 1 minus x okay that is what let x be the probability of selection of alternative 1 strategy 1 of player a and 1 minus x be the selection of alternative 2 by player a okay so this way only you have to do for any questions for all the questions the same method you have to follow first you have to go for the dominance and then you will get the reduced matrix and after that if 2 cross n is the case if this is the case you have to take for first row or for first strategy the probability is x and for the second strategy the probability is 1 minus x okay now, see this table. B is alternative. B is alternative are 1, 2 and 4. Right. So, that is what 1, 2 and 4. Now, next column A is expected payoff function. This we will find out. Okay. A is expected payoff function and then A is expected gain. Okay, so you have to substitute x as 0 and x as 1. Same table you have to draw for all the questions. B is alternative. A is expected payoff function. A is expected gain. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Okay. Now step 3. Find the value of gain x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Here for A player, player A, two strategies are there, 1 and 2. For strategy 1, probability we have assumed as x and for 2 it is 1 minus x. Right. Now come to the player B. Three alternatives, 1, 2 and 4. That is written over here. Okay. Now A is expected payoff function. When considering B is alternative 1, that is the first column. Value of player A is first strategy is minus 4 and second strategy is 3, right? So, minus 4 into x plus 3 into 1 minus x. See this? Minus 4 into x plus 3 into 1 minus x and you will get like this minus 7x plus 3. Now come to the second strategy of B, second alternative of B, the value of A are 2 and minus 9. Same way 2 into x plus minus 9 into 1 minus x and you will get 11x minus 9. Expand the bracket minus 9 and Plus, x, plus 9x, right. So, minus 9 and then plus 9x. 2x plus 9x is 11x. Now, coming to the third strategy, it is 4. And the values are minus 6 and 4. Minus 6x plus 4 into 1 minus x and you will get minus 10x plus 4. Okay. Now, substitute the value for x as 0 and solve this. So, x is 0. This is 0 means minus 7 into 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. And for 1, okay, x is equal to 1. Minus 7 into 1, that is minus 7 plus 3, that is minus 4. And for the second strategy, x is equal to 0 is 11 into 0 minus 9, that is minus 9. 11 into 1 minus 9 is 2. Here also minus 10 into 0 plus 4 is 4. Minus 10 plus 4 is minus now you got these values. So when x is 0 and when x is 1, you got the values like this. Okay. Now step 4. Plot the gain functions on a graph by assuming a suitable scale. Keep x on x-axis and gain on y-axis. For x-axis, we are writing x and for gain, we are writing uh, for the on the y-axis we are writing gain value okay now step five F 
find the highest intersection point in the lower boundary of the graph. In the lower boundary of the graph, select the highest intersection point. Step 6. If the number of lines passing through the maximum point, maximum point means highest intersection point, see, maximum point is only 2. If passing through that maximum point, the number of lines are only 2, form a payoff matrix and go to step 8. Else, go to step 7. If through this maximum point, if only 2 lines are passing, then Go to step 8, else go to step 7. Go to step 8 is go for the solution and find the value of the gain. Same way, find the augment and find the value of the gain. And what is step 7? That is, for, with, through the maximum point, more than two lines are passing. Okay, if more than two lines are passing means you have to find the lines with opposite slopes. Suppose this is the, this is the maximum point. Right, this is a maximum point. If many lines are more than two lines are passing, see, three lines are passing. Now three lines are passing through this, right? Maximum point three are passing. So if two means you can take the values and solve it. If three lines are passing means you have to find the two lines with opposite slopes. See this, this line and this line. Okay, these are the opposite slope lines. Now consider this line and this line and then go for the solution using augment method. Okay, this is a way. Now let us draw the graph for this. So plot the gain functions on the graph by assuming a suitable scale. Find the highest intersection point in the lower boundary. Okay, now let's see. Now let us draw the graph x value in the x axis and gain in the y axis okay this way you have to draw x ranges from 0 to 1 and based on our wish you can take the scale here i have taken 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 and y i have divided as 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, here minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Okay. Now see, for strategy 1 of player B, the gain is 3 and minus 4. That is when x is equal to 0, it is 3 and when x is equal to 1, we got minus 4. This, this is the one which we have calculated just, okay, same values. So 3 and minus 4. So when x is equal to 0, it is 3. So this is x is equal to 0, right? So this is 3 and x is equal to 1 is minus 4. Take This is x is equal to 1 line, okay? So minus 4. Just draw the straight line and write B1. This is for B1, okay? And for next, it is minus 9 and 2. See, so this is minus 9 and this is 2. Just draw the straight line and name as B2. Now, we have drawn line for B1 and B2. Now, for B4, when x is equal to 0, it is 4 and x is equal to 1, it is minus 6. So, this is B4. Okay. Now, we have drawn that. Now, after plotting the lines, next step is find the highest intersection point in the lower boundary of the graph. So, this is the lower boundary. Okay. And in this boundary, see A, B and C. This is a lower boundary. Okay. And in this lower boundary, find the highest intersection point. Highest intersection point is B. Okay. And that is maximum point. That is step 5. And in step 6, it is said that 
if the number of lines passing through the maximum point is only 2 take that particular lines consider the values and go for the solution using augment method if more than two lines are passing find the lines with opposite slopes okay find the lines with opposite slopes and then go for the solution clear after solving graphically we got two strategies for player b right b2 and b4 and for a1 and 2 take the values of that two that is this is the second strategy for b and this is a fourth strategy this is the original payoff matrix which you got in the question so second strategy and the fourth strategy right here okay so that's it now find the row augment column augment we know Two minus minus six, that is eight. Four minus minus nine, that is thirteen. Okay. For column augment, two minus minus nine, that is eleven. Four minus minus six, that is ten. Okay. Now find the probability. Thirteen divided by thirteen plus eight. Thirteen divided by twenty-one. And 8 divided by 13 plus 8 here. 10 divided by 10 plus 11 and 11 divided by 10 plus 11. Okay. So, you got the probabilities also. All these we have explained in the previous classes. How to find row augment, how to find the column augment, how to find value of the game and all. How to find the probability and all. Okay. Same method you have to use here also. Then after finding the probabilities, this is the original table you are having. So probability of player A. Player A is 1 and 2 strategies are there. Okay, only 1 and 2 are there. So write down the probabilities at 13 by 21 and 8 by 21. Coming to player B, in the question, 5 strategies were there. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And at the end, we got only, we, were, we are having only Two strategies that is 2 and 4 okay so strategy 2 it is 10 by 21 and for strategy 4 it is 11 by 21 the probability and all others are zeros okay so 1 is 0 2 is 10 by 21 3 is 0 4 is 11 by 21 and 5 is 0 so you got probability of player a and b now value of the game we know 2 into 13 plus minus 9 into 8 divided by 13 plus 8. So four ways we can find the value of the game and all the values should be same. right? So we are having the value of the game as minus 46 by 21. Okay, so this is the way how we are coming to the solution. In today's class, we have seen to cross end game and we have solved it graphically it is very simple method just first find dominance and find the minimized matrix and then plot the graph and draw the lines find the intersection point take the lines and then solve it finding row augment and column augment okay in the next class we will Go with M cross to D. Hope this was clear for you. Thank you.